Every single weekend I've been spending anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day working on this thing. Since I built the electric chair last year, um, this year I uh, was thinking about something else to do and the guillotine sounded like the most fun. Well, that one didn't cut it. <laughs> it was uh, a couple of weeks of uh, trying to find different designs and everything of guillotines to see how I wanted to build mine and about three months of working on it. To me it just seemed like a fun project. And I said last year when I built that electric chair that was an easier project. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Uh, we're really huge Halloween fans. I had one of the neighbors came by earlier when he saw it up and I showed him uh, how it worked and everything. So far they seem to enjoy it since nobody's gotten hurt yet. <laughs> Get up over here. I'm a correctional officer. <laughs> I work at Northwest Florida Reception Center. It's in Washington County. The blade, I only put it up when I'm actually doing demonstrations. So even if I'm standing around, if I'm not using it, the blade is going to be off of it. I figured just in case people decide to take pictures in this, I should make it safer. When the blade isn't there, even if the blade does accidentally drop, it doesn't pass this neck hole part over here. <laughs> Everybody has quite a few people they want to nominate to try this thing out with the blade and it. Yeah. Like spouses, politicians, bosses. bosses. <laughs> they do have to sign a waiver. Their family has to do the cleanup and everything. Oh. <laughs> I'm hoping to be able to use it every year for quite a few years.